And we back. I like how once we get to the end of every 2K cycle, we have like these guaranteed we have to do videos. Last time we did an 0 and 82 to 82 and 0 challenge. And today we're doing the wheel to create the next GOAT. Last year we did this and we ended up with a 95 overall player that we named Rufus Bishop. Now I said we try to create the next GOAT, but in reality, we probably won't create a great NBA player. I think that last year we got hella lucky and let me explain why. Today's video, we have a ton of wheels to determine the attributes of our player. It's not like every wheel is gonna have the elite level. Every wheel won't have Klay Thompson shooting and then Giannis is rebounding and then the defense of John Isaac. No, we might end up having players that are not that great at some things. So we have a height wheel, an inside scoring wheel, a shooting wheel, I gotta look at it, a defensive wheel, a playmaking wheel, a rebounding wheel, and an athleticism wheel. And on those, we have elite level players, okay players, and then bad players. All these people left a comment on the last video, and this is our member shout out of the day. Shout out to everybody that have been supporting. Hit that link in the description if you're interested in becoming a member. So a lot of today's video is definitely determined on this wheel right here, the height wheel. And regular life, this is my, this is my thing to you guys. Height does not matter in regular life. And yes, I am telling that to you as a short king. But in the game of basketball, being a 5'7 uh, player, or I'm sorry, a 5'4 player can be detrimental to your success, especially when you try to create the next goal. So I got 5'4 all the way up to 7'7 seven, 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 seven interchangeably. We did skip some like 5'5, five, five, but instead we got 5'6. We, we forgot 7'5. We got 7'3. You get it. So we might land on 5'4, but the next wheel determines our position. So we could be a 5'4 center in today's video. And then how are we really the goal? Are we ready for the first spin? We will spin as soon as it allows me to mute. Okay, today's video. Our player that we will be rolling with will be 6'5". That seems like a pretty solid height. I know a lot of great NBA players that are in the 6'6'6'5 realm. I just hope that we end up on point guard, shooting guard, or small forward, I guess. We can't be a power forward or center at 6'5". So we will see. You know what I'm saying? It's just two of them that I absolutely don't want to land on. But we land on center. The 6'5 uh, center... The shortest center I can think of off the top of my head was a guy named Chuck Hayes. And well, Chuck Hayes, if I'm not mistaken, was 6'6", but this is before the NBA really made you tell the truth. So he might legit have been 6'3", 6'4". Charles Barkley was a shorter power forward. So, you know, it's not like he can't be an elite level talent. He just might struggle guarding um, Joel Embiid, um, um, Nikola Jokic, and pretty much any other center in the league he might struggle with. But you know what? It, it is what it is. Now we get to his inside scoring wheel. On this, we see the likes of Joel Embiid, P.J. Tucker, Giannis Adetokounmpo, Dwayne Detman, Zach Levine, Frank Milikina, Zion Wilson, Josh Okogi, Nazir Little, John Morant, and then uh, Trevor Ariza. Some players like P.J. Tucker, Dwayne Detman, and Frank Milikina are absolutely horrible when it comes to scoring on the inside. All of this is based on 2K, by the way, so don't be mad at me, PJ. I know, like, you know what I'm saying? It's not me, it's 2K. Be mad at them. Um, and then some players are just, like, cool. Like, Josh Okoge is a cool player. He's, I think he has, like, a C. Um, uh, Nazir Little got, like, a C. But then you got John Morant, who obviously we know can duck on anybody. Then we got, like, old man Trevor Reza. So, what am I hoping for? As a 6'5", center, I hope that we get one of the big men. I hope we get a Joel or Giannis. Everybody else that doesn't really classify as big man. Because Dwayne Dedman's inside scoring is like an F as a center. Do you hear me? That's why he's added to the list because he's one of the worst in the entire game. So who will we be taking? It will be Giannis. One of the most dominant inside scoring players in recent history. You love to see this. Now, the way this works is that I will go and write down every single inside scoring statistic with Giannis and put him over to our fictional player. I will take every si single inside scoring badge and put it on our player. This could not be any better. Legitimately, I think that Giannis was the best possible candidate on this list. So we have a 6'5 center that has Giannis's inside ability, but not Giannis's athleticism. And now we are at our shooting wheel. Also, don't be mad at me if there's a player that should be on a shooting wheel that I didn't put on the wheel. It ain't that big of a deal. I, I just went to 2K ratings, sorted it, and just picked random names, okay? So we got the Curry brothers on here. We have Ben Simmons. You had to know that was coming. Um, we have Duncan Robinson. We got Justice Winslow. We got Joe Ingles. We got Taz Gibson. We got JJ Reddick. We got Mike James, who, believe it or not, in the game of 2K, is a well below average three-point shooter. Um, Joe Harris, one of the better three-point shooters. Sekou! 
Ooh, not very good. Steph Curry, as I mentioned earlier, Alex Lynn, who was a decent shooter, uh, basically for, for a big man, and then Klay Thompson. I think on this wheel, we might have more hits to miss it, so let's hope that we land on a... Let hope that we land on a hit because if we don't and we 6'5 and can dunk like Giannis but can't shoot like nobody great, but we will be shooting like current day JJ Redick. Um, he's dropped a little bit in the terms of 2K compared to the when the season first started, but still an elite level three point shooter, and you love to see that. I just remember that I actually have to build this player, and that process takes so very long. I legit think it took me over an hour to build on last year's version, and it's not like they did anything to make it easier. So I just forgot. I just forgot. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's hard work. I'm just saying I forgot that I had to do it, okay? So here we go. This is our defensive wheel. We start off with Matisse Seibel, one of the most disruptive players in the NBA right now. Kobe White. Based on 2K, Kobe White is one of the worst perimeter defenders in the entire game that's not a center. We got Giannis, Trey Young, Marcus Smart, Goran Dragic, Kawhi Leonard, Cameron Payne, John Isaac. Oh, we want to land on John Isaac because that boy be doing his thing. Ennis Cantor, uh, Rudy Gobert, Bruno Fernando, Bam Adebayo, Draymond Green, Robin Lopez, and Benjamin Simmons. So far, I would say, other than us being a center, we have all hits. We ain't missed just yet. And I'm not hoping to miss right here, right now. We will land on Ben Simmons' defense. So we got Giannis' finishing, J.J. Redick shooting, and Ben Simmons' defense? Come on, dawg. So far, he's looking pretty elite to me, other than the fact that he is a 6'5 center. Will he be able to play make? Let's find out. We have Trey Young, Wiggins, LaMelo, Devin Vassell, LeBron, Josh Jackson, who's one of the worst playmaking players in the entirety of 2K. And I don't even just mean like current day players, even the past play. It's just terrible. Terrible. Stay away. I will take literally anybody else on this list other than Josh Jackson. He's, he's absolutely awful according to 2K. Luka, Eric Bledsoe, James Harden, Duncan Robinson, Chris Paul, Patrick Beverly, Russell Westbrook, uh, Christian Wood, and Nikola Jokic. Let's see what type of playmaker we will be. Um, I want to be a good playmaker because that just means more statistics. And if you want to be a GOAT, you got to be able to fill a stat sheet up. And James Harden is a player that was very close to averaging a triple-double multiple times in his career. He's definitely one of the best playmakers in the entire league and again all hits no misses the wheels have been blessing us today rebounding ability is important because he is a center i know he's a small center but he is still a center so in this we have russell westbrook seth curry we have the offensive rebounding mastermind that is Ennis Cantor, al horford nicole Jokic, Keldon johnson andre drummond low-key the player i want um pascal siaka i would take clink appell as well demontis abaldas bobo and landry shaman legit um, the, the rebounding thing ain't that important, so I didn't add 20 names. But we will see. We're going to land on the player that I said I wanted. The wheels have been on my side. We haven't done a wheel video in a very long time, it feels like. And it's, it's telling me that it missed me. That they want me to do a couple more wheel rebuilding type videos before 2K20 drops, and we might. You got me. You got me, Andre Drummond. So because of that, we might be back to another wheel video soon. Especially if y'all do enjoy it. That also plays a big part as well. I wouldn't do a single wheel rebuilding video if y'all didn't leave likes and didn't enjoy the video. So, you know, y'all play a big part of this as well. All right, so last but definitely not least, the athleticism. We already talked about how we have Giannis as finishing, but it doesn't, doesn't matter if we finish like Giannis if we got terrible athleticism because Giannis, part of his finishing is athleticism. So we we have Giannis. If we land on double Giannis here, I would be, I, I don't even know. That would be the best possible spins of all time. Taco Fall, John Moran, Tony Snail, Miles Bridges, Georges Niang who I think is on a new team this year. I forget. Free AC has been very, very long. De'Aaron Fox, Mitchell Robson, um, Anthony Davis, Boban, Blake Griffin, Aaron Gordon, Zion Williamson, John Wall, and Daniel House. Are we ready? Are we ready? Yes, 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 yes. I think this, how important is athleticism? I think it does matter quite a bit. So I'm hoping we get somebody great and we will be landing on John Wall. Now, this is not prime John Wall when he was arguably the fastest player in the entire league, but he is still very, very athletic even after all of those surgeries. Talk about all hits, no misses, baby. All hits, no misses. Okay, so what I will be doing for the next hour is creating our player. Getting all the statistics from these individual players and creating them. And now that I say that, okay, I'm wasting time. Leave a like. All right, y'all, it is time for us to finally do the thing I've been sitting here for like an hour or so, getting everything solid. Got all the badges, got all the attributes, got all of the tendencies, all of that. So leave a like. Low key, when I was doing it, I think I underestimated the badges that James Harden was going to have. He had every playmaking badge except for one. 
except for all but one. So it's like a W player. He's probably the best player we could have got for that spot. So what I did was I created the player. I put him into a roster. And we're doing a fantasy draft. I also loaded a roster that would have Kay Cunningham, Jalen Green, and the players they had drafted this year. So we will see where our boy gets drafted to. I'm not going to tell you what his overall is until you finally see it. And so far, eight picks in, he has not got picking up. Maybe that has to do with the fact that he is the smallest center of, in NBA history, probably. But whatever. If you can hoop, you can hoop. And the Trailblazers saw that. Neil O'Shea saw that a hooper was in his blood. And he was going to be successful regardless. I think his last name is Hendricks. It's an auto-generated name. I did nothing but change position and his height and left everything the same. So here we go. Being a part of the Portland Trailblaze in today's video. Now, this is not a rebuild. We're kind of just simulating a few years to see how his career is going to go. This is not a full career sim. But if you want to see that, we could do that in the future. So we got Zach Hendricks. 65 badges. 91 overall. If we made him... A point guard, he's a 93. A shooting guard, he's a 96. At small four, he's a 97. But he is a center, which is the lowest overall he would possibly be. But he's playing with Jaron Jackson Jr. So he got some size next to him at 6'11". The counter, the 6'5". Then we got a 6'1", Darius Garland. Uh, Terrence Ross, Tyler Hero, Robert Williams, um, uh, Cam Johnson, Hami Diallo, Patty Mills on his new contract. Taj Gibson, who did sign a new contract, but nobody updated it. It's cool. Terrence Davis, Ryan Hollis Jefferson, Jalen McDaniels. All right, all right. This is definitely a team that I wouldn't expect to make the playoffs. Out of the top five guys, four of them are under the age of 22. So definitely a younger team here. And as you can see, he's running the center position, rocking the number 46. I didn't touch his, his, um, his jersey number either, but just look at the badges. Giannis's badge is elite level because that's what Giannis does. He finishes at the rim. JJ's badges are great. Um, but with him being older, like deep threes gold is something he would have had like three years ago, but it's fine. This guy's a 19 year old guy. He's going to get better. So some of those bronze and golds badges will definitely, um, go better. And then we got James Harden. Like I said, all but one badge, James Harden, elite level playmaker. And then the defense of Ben Simmons, as you know, he finished second and the offensive player of the year. But at first, we got Andre Drummond's worm. We got Andre Drummond's rebounding box. And then the rest, and a rebound chaser for Andre Drummond. But then the rest is Ben Simmons' second and defensive player of the year. First game of his young NBA career going against the Cleveland Cavaliers is a loss. But he put up 28, 8, and 8. 28, 8, and 8. Did he get dominated by a big man? No. I didn't even know who the big, I guess Moses Brown's the starting center here. So we're not worried about that. I'm waiting until he goes against an elite level center. He's going against Nurkic, who's a physical center. Another loss. He had a good game. And Nurkic did not. I mean, he didn't have a bad game either. He shot four for seven. It's not like he got super clamped. Moses Moody's in there. He was hooping. Hold on. Moses Moody at a 21 piece. Oh, go crazy then, Moses. Are you starting? You might be starting. All right, Sacramento. Who's, who's on this team? Jared Allen. Jared Allen's not an offensive center, but he's a big center. And there it is. LeBron gets an L on the season. And a triple-double with 37, 24, and 10? Oh, my God. All right. Well, when are we going against, like, Jokic? Or when are we going against, okay, Evan Mobley? Two rookie centers in this year's class. Evan Mobley did his thing, but so did Hendricks. All right. This game, there's Anthony Davis. But Anthony Davis is a power forward, so he didn't even match up against him. You know what? Why am I going game by game? Why don't I just go see what teams... Jokic plays for Utah. Joel plays for Toronto. Utah and Toronto, what are we looking for? Toronto's right here. So we'll simulate these games. So far, so good. A nice little win streak. And going against Joel Embiid, Patrick Williams. Toronto got a nice little team right there. We beat him, though. Jo Ooh, Joel who? 41, 13, 15, and five blocks for our 6'5 center. Joel also had a dominant game, by the way. Um, also, very dominant game for JoJo. What a game. And he had Ennis Cantor coming off the bench. So, two, like, offensively good centers. And then Utah was the other team. And then I think we simulated a few years of his career, see if he can win a championship, see if he can win an MVP. I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility. He's 19 right now. Why wouldn't he be good enough to win an MVP award? Eventually. Eventually. A um, lot of wins. 19 and 8 makes him the number one seed at the moment. We thought they was going to be too young to be successful. Nah. When you got a guy like, like, like Zach Hendricks, anything is possible. Shout out to Kevin Garnett, by the way. I just found out that his number is being retired by the, by the um, Celtics. Anything is possible with him. And a win against Jokic? Yes. 
Jokic had a good game, but Hendricks had a better one. So far, he is averaging 28, 17, and 9. Come on, bro. They thought we, we will watch a game or some of a game to see how his size is impacting his um, progression or his overall ability, but it don't like it's impacting it negatively. And well, that did not take long whatsoever at the age of 20. And he's already two overall spots better than when we he first got into the league. Our guy, Zach Hendricks, averages 28, 17, and 9 with a, a rebound. I'm sorry, it's one and a half steals and one and a half blocks. He also has the second, third, fourth. I'm sorry. The fifth highest. I don't know why they're just the fifth highest PER season of all time. Now I know PER ain't like a crazy great statistic to use, but I'm just using it as a reference to just say he had one of the greatest seasons in NBA history. Game score was a 31. True shooting is a 65%. Um, AR assist ratio. Okay, I, had to look, I didn't know what that really was. Honestly, you know what I'm saying? Estimated wins added is a 30, a, th a 33. Now let me let me see something. Okay, well, he's also rookie of the year. Six man went to <laughs> went to single, but like estimated wins added at a 30 something looks ridiculous. For reference in real life, um Nikola Jokic led the league in this at about 20 something. So um 25 to be exact. So he had a higher estimated wins added than Nikola Jokic, which was the best this season, um, by a lot. And also I know advanced statistics don't mean a thing, but also mean something. Uh Jokic dominated this stat in real life, so this lets you know that he should she definitely won MVP. Um, just a lot of advanced stats love Nikola Jokic's season last year. I don't even know. Value added is 300 more than the second best in the league. 300 more. You, are you hearing me? Jokic was ridiculous this season, for sure. But will this turn into a championship? He did not win Defensive Player of the Year with Ben Simmons' defense. Uh, most improved there, Rick Carlisle is not our coach. So, I don't even know. We were the one seed, but I guess that didn't matter to win Rookie of or Defense or Coach of the Year. Uh, there's Luca, Russell Westbrook with the Bulls, Giannis and LeBron. I'm looking at this rookie team. This is the first time I've used this this like roster, so I don't even know what the rookies even look like. K Cunningham, Jalen Green, Evan Mobley, then Sengun, which is dope. Scotty Barnes, Jalen Suggs, Trey Mann, um, Jalen Johnson, and Jonathan Kaminga. This is really cool because in other draft classes you had to like space out his name because 2K was like, oh, that's bad. That's bad word. Bad word. We know loud that. And now you can use his last name because it's really his last name. And that's the only thing we refer to him as. His name is Jonathan Kaminga. Nothing more. Do you understand what I'm saying, y'all? You call him Mr. Kaminga and nothing more. And that, that's not, I'm not trying to tell no, I'm being serious here. All right. Okay. All right. Um, so we are the one seat, which is really solid. Again, this team is not supposed to be good. Um, but Jaron Jackson had an elite level season as well. The rebound numbers are insane here. Shout out to Andre Drummond for being one of the best rebounders, not just of today, but like of all time. So we get out of the first round barely, but we did it in six. The Clippers, we beat them and we go against a 70 Golden State Warriors. They have Donovan Mitchell carrying him and they have the most improved player and Jonathan Isaac, who is also a guy that you know is competing for Defensive Player of the Year. 2-0, 3-0. Are we going to win a championship and win MVP in the same year? Rookie season? I think we might. Wow. This team ain't good. But last time I said something like that, we lost in the finals. But in today's video, 3-0. And we win as Zach Hendricks comes in as a 6-5 center. Do you hear me? And wins MVP, rookie of the year, and finals MVP in the same season. That's insane. All right, so I think I turned everything off. So if they wanted to trade him, I guess technically they could. I mean, why would they? I don't know. But let me turn everything off. I just want to simulate through the offseason and go straight to progression and then see what happens in year number two, see if they make any changes to the roster. Because we were a super young team. Like, Jaron will be better. I think, who else? Tyler Hero's on this team. He will be better. I'm also curious if they're going to make that man uh, play Summer League. So that'll be fun. He's up to a 94. He's added three more badges. And some of his badges are probably better. Um, um, it actually don't even really look like it. What badges did he add? Oh, no, these are 100% better. Yeah, James Harden didn't have gold every badge. He didn't. And defensively, he's added Pogo. Pogo stick was not a badge he had before it started. So he's added a few badges. He's got better on the shooting. He's got better on his inside defense, which is clutch for a center. And will he play Summer League? Because if he does, they don't have him. Dang, I wanted him to play Summer League. Because, I mean, he's, he's 19, he's 20 years old. 
I know he just won an MVP award, but you can always get better even if you're beating up on, on children. All right, so here we go. Your number two's team is practically the, sa practically the same. It's basically the same exact team. Super young roster. Garland is still here. Um, and I think I'm going to simulate to the to the end of this season. And then I want to jump into, if they make it to the finals, I want to jump into a game to see what it looks like, honestly. Two years in a row, but low-key, this season kind of mid, bro. What you on? Why'd you get worse? He didn't drop them points. Who on the team is stealing shots from you, Hendrix? Because we, we'll get him out of here. You know, we want you to be legendary. And these stats are legendary, for sure. For sure, legendary. <laughs> That's your statistics. I'm not taking that away from you. But, like, your rookie season was better? Sophomore slump? Um, This guy won rookie of the year. Drummond won six man of the year. His rebounding numbers were insane for somebody that was coming off the bench. Uh, basically averaged the same amount as we did in per 36 numbers. And then Giannis, defense player of the year. Nick Claxton, most approved. Willie Green. I forgot Willie Green is actually a head coach. Shout out to the guy that made this roster because he got that. And we didn't win coach of the year again, so I feel snubbed once more time. So I feel like we should win a championship. You know what I'm saying? Defensive team, we are on that first team as a center. And rookie team, we don't really care about those. All right. So we ended up as the one seed. This season overall wasn't as successful as the first as far as overall record goes. Um, we got the first round. Second round is a 2-2. Two -two. It's a 3-2. So let's simcast this one. Because I do want to jump in and see what it looks like. And it's tied up. Please be a close game. Oh, my God. It will just make for a great video if this was... It's not really close. But I still want to jump in to see Hendricks play. So, I'm jumping in to see Hendricks play. Watch it be our luck that this man is, is like, fouled out. Watch it be fouled out. Oh, my God. I know he's going to be fouled out. Two fouls. Oh, my God. He's not. Okay. So, we get to watch Hendricks play. Um, And he is guarding Chris Stapps Porzingis right now. He is guarding Chris Stapps Porzingis. And, yeah, that's... That's a very small gentleman right there. If Chris Stapps don't get in the post, if it, this man don't get in the post, who's that, Mo Wagner? I think that's Mo Wagner. Dearest Basie for three. Will we get a rebound from our short king? Yes, we will. Because in this world, it's him being a center and being 6'5". He is a short king, and he is a point center. He's on his Nikola Jokic. I'm going to grab the board. I'm going to go take an ugly. Ew. That's your jump shot? Two-time MVP? That's your jump shot, bro? You only got 19 points in a game that might eliminate you? I'm disappointed in my MVP. Jalen Brown is just hooping. He was the player of the game so far. I think that's his 30th point. 30th point for him. Put put Hendricks on him. You know Hendricks is an elite level perimeter defender too. Darius trying to be the superstar. If you don't get a ball to number 46, I guess this guy works too. Not if he's doing this. What are you doing? Three seconds. He been in. That was. Count him. Was that eight seconds in the paint? You let me know. That was definitely more than three, and it ended in a bad shot. This is why y'all not going back-to-back, -back because y'all not giving the ball to Hendricks. Y'all fouling. I'm not enjoying this. I'm definitely not. A sim Where's the Simcast? Simcast live. We're going to get past these free throws. One made. Two made. And we jumping in. Oh! I don't mind this either. Let me see. Let me see what we got here. Okay. Oh! 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 Giannis! Ah! <laughs> Get off the floor, Tyrese! Hold on. Y yeah! Yeah! Hold on. We gotta take a picture. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. That might be the... Is that the thumbnail in today's video? We about to find out. Bucks! Oh, my God. I got me my... What what potential thumbnail we got? You know what I'm saying? I might bring these boys back messing around on this. I think it might be on Pro. So it wouldn't be hella impressive, but I don't care. Oh, we're not bringing them back. I just fouled. I was reaching. I was reaching. That's that's about game. Hey, we found out that Zach Hendricks is the real deal. Um, but they, he wasn't real enough to win a championship back-to-back -back years. Sophomore slump is a real thing. Hey, if you want to see a full career sale for my boy, be sure to leave a like. If you enjoyed it, as always, be sure to leave it a like. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. Go hit the links in the descriptions to become a member and watch the other channels because I have been dropping bangers on the other channels as well. I appreciate y'all. Peace.